Hello and welcome. In this short tutorial, I'll show how to activate the optional diagnostic data in Windows 10. Optional diagnostic data is one of the settings that needs to be active if you want to download and install Windows 11 at this point in time. Unfortunately, it happens that this setting is grayed out, that it is managed by your organization, or that it doesn't save the setting when you check the box. We start with the first method, which is to enable the connected user experiences and telemetry service. Usually, this service is set on active by default, but there are reasons to disable it. However, to use the optional diagnostic data setting, we need to enable the connected user experiences and telemetry service. To do this, click on the Windows search bar and type in services. Click on it. Here you need to navigate to connected user experiences and telemetry. Basically, this service is responsible for sending feedback and diagnostics. Right click on it and select properties. Make sure that the startup is set to automatic. Click on apply. After that, click on start and OK. If the service was already running, click on stop, followed by clicking on start. You can now try if you can change the optional diagnostic data setting. We continue with the next method. The registry editor method should solve the message. Some of these settings are hidden or managed by your organization. It also helps with grayed out diagnostic data. Click on the Windows search bar and type in registry editor. Click on it. Navigate to the following paths. H key local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, data collection. Here you need to delete the file with the name allow telemetry. Right click on it and select delete. Click on yes to confirm. Next, reboot your PC to make sure. After doing this, the message, some of these settings are hidden or managed by your organization should be gone. This concludes our optional diagnostic data in Windows 10 networking tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.